Welcome. So what I want to do today is show you how to simplify uh, this radical expression here. So I have negative 2 times the square root of 490 times b to the fifth. Um, so the way that um, the way that I'm going to solve this problem is take a look at by um, factoring it. Okay, so we're going to look at the factors of a problem and there's one thing I want to go through before we even talk about factors is just think about the square root of a number. If I take the square root of 4, right, we know the answer is 2, but I can rewrite the square root of 4 as 2 times 2, right? So whenever we have two number, two factors that are the same, we can take the square root of them um, and to equal, you know, your 2, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor these under the square root. And any time that I have a pair of factors, I know I can take that number or that factor out of the square root. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to kind of factor this out. So I need to factor 490, right? So I need to determine what number goes into 490. Well, thankfully, since it ends in a 0, um, I can see that it's going to, 10 is going to go into it. So let's just rewrite this here. This is all on a radical. So I can rewrite this as um, 49 times 10 times v to the fifth. Now, v to the fifth is a special case because you want to say, how can you rewrite that? Well, that can be rewritten as v times v, right, five times. So I'll get to that in a second. So 49, um, if we factor that, that can be factored into 7 times 7, and 10 can be factored down into, let's just do 5 times 2, times v times v times v times v times v. Okay, this is what we call linearized factor, um, factored form. What I've done is I have broken down these, it, this radicand to its linear factors, right? We can't factor any of these numbers any further. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pairs of numbers and pull them out because I know that the square root of 2 times 2, right, that's a pair equals 2. So I need to take what numbers can I pull out? Well, I have 7 times 7, a pair of v times v, and another pair of v times v. So I can take these numbers outside now of my radical. So I have negative 2 times 7 times v times v times what's left over, what's inside. 5 times 2, which is 10, times v. So now on the outside, I just need to simplify. Negative 2 times 7 is negative 14. v times v is v squared times the square root of 10v. And there we go. We got it simplified. It wasn't that bad, was it? Um, so just make sure when you factor, we can pull out, since it's the square root, you're going to have to pull out pairs of numbers. And I'm not pulling out the whole pair. I'm just taking, pulling out. Remember, the square root of 2 times 2 is 2. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed.